Hey everybody, CK here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. And this video is my August favorites of the month, okay? Now, before I get started on this video, which I'm gonna try and make it short and sweet, I just wanna let you guys know, first off, like really excuse the gardener outside, okay? I just wanna take the time out to let you guys know that I totally appreciate you guys. You rock. I mean, every comment that I receive, every click of you watching my video, every like, every thumbs up, you guys are totally appreciated. And it means like so much to me. It just makes me feel like I'm doing something that is helping someone, okay? That's it. So enough of all the mushy stuff. Let's get into my favorites, okay? I'm going to start with my Sonia Kashuk brush. Now this is a brush that is from the 15th anniversary limited edition brush. Now I did not even bother to do a haul video or to do a video explaining all the different brushes and what I may use them for. First and foremost, I haven't used them all. Second, I just felt like there were so many of these videos on the YT, so I didn't really wanna do one. But if you guys would like to see one, then I will do one on the ones that I've used so far and maybe what I think of them. But so far, this one right here, is the bee's knees as they say okay i really like this brush it is if i had to name it i would either call it a blush brush or i will call it a powder brush because it doesn't have names on it but they are so 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 chic and so luxurious like i just wanted to pick them up and you get 15 brushes in the whole set and it's like 39.99 at target i don't know if they have any more i know when i got mine they only had a couple so here is the brush up close and it just says Sonia Kashuk on it. And that is what it looks like up close. Now what I use this for for the most part is to apply powder foundation because I like the way that it just kind of brushes it out and then just makes it seem all even. And also you can use it as a blush brush. I think it'll be great because it gets right there on the apples of those cheeks, okay? So I have really been loving this brush like all month and I'm so happy that it's clean so I can show you. <laughs> the next product that I've been loving, which if you have not heard about this product and you want to see it in action, I filmed a video where I talked about Revlon Colorstay Foundation and I used this primer and I actually showed you how it looks going onto my skin. So if you're interested in that, I will link that in the description box below. But this is called, dang, I had to catch my breath. But this is called Bare Minerals Prime Time Foundation Primer and it is an oil control primer and it says anti-brilliance whatever that means this is really tiny it's like one ounce and I do believe that it retails for $24 at Sephora but I did not purchase this one I got this one at some event that I attended I want to say it was generation beauty but I don't really remember but anyway this stuff is amazing you know I just recently started using primers like maybe I don't know six months ago you know just to try to act as a protective barrier on my skin from all the different foundations and stuff I use and I have been trying a lot of different primers or maybe like three or four so far and this one is the best yet that I have tried simply because it goes on clear it does not feel like it has silicone in it. It is definitely water-based. And I just love the fact that you just really like, once you kind of put it on your face, like if you did not blend it out, you would totally be okay. Like it just kind of goes on on its own in a sense. And it dries clear and it has like a matte effect to it. It's like if I wanted to just wear this without foundation and I just wanted to have like that matte effect on my face, I could totally rock this because it doesn't give me a cast. It dries totally clear. So like thumbs up in my book, it's A-OK, -okay, all right? The next item I've been loving, which is not gonna come as a shock to you guys, but it is the Magnolia Makeup Velour Galore Collection Lipstick, okay? It is like, try saying that like three times in a row. You guys know how I feel about cream matte lipsticks. I can't express that enough. But anyway, it is a collection of seven of them. And I'm actually rocking this one today. And it is called Petal Pusher. And if you have not seen that video, I will link the video below where I totally do lip swatches, hand swatches, and all that. Matter of fact, I think I'll apply a little bit so you can see. I'm in love with this stuff. Now, the next item I'm gonna talk about is kind of, it's a gel liner. 
But if you guys remember, I always talk about my love for liquid eyeliners. I still have a love for liquid eyeliners. The only reason I'm mentioning a gel in my favorites is because I don't know if you guys have been having this problem, but this summer, it seems like my liquid eyeliners have been drying out like that, okay? And it may be because I store them on my vanity and my vanity happens to be right by my window and it's been really hot. I'm just gonna wait till it cools off before I open up another one. So I have been using my Sedona Lace Gel Liner in black, as you can see. And I really do like it. I don't have any problems with it smudging. I don't have any problems with it like running or coming off or anything like that. It seems to work fine, but you know, I just prefer liquid liners, but for now, gel will have to do. And I've been loving this one. The next item, Manga Mascara. Now I do have two because one is regular and then one is waterproof. And this mascara has really been, I don't even really like the term giving me life, but it's really been giving me life. It's Voluminous Mascara, which I love. It's by L'Oreal, which I love. My favorite of all times used to be the Voluminous, the regular Voluminous by L'Oreal. But I think this is like my new favorite, like next to Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is like amazing. And even with the Too Faced Mascara, I will put on a primer before I wear that. With this, like when I'm not rocking lashes, I have been using this all by itself. Seriously. The reason that I have two is because I didn't know that they had waterproof when I picked this one up. Then I was in the store and I said, waterproof, what? So I grabbed it. I do want to do a separate video where I talk about this mascara. I'm going to try to do a demo, but I definitely want to talk about the difference between the waterproof one and the regular one because I noticed a difference like right away. So if you guys are interested in seeing a separate video on that, I'll be glad to do it because like, I think I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> But anyway, I really love it. Let me show you what the wand looks like. Okay, now wait, disclaimer. One thing about it that I did not like is how like flimsy it is. Like see how it moves like that? It like moves really easy. But I guess that is so that you can get all the corners of your lashes and get everything with ease. So, I mean, I'm not too mad at it, but like I just would prefer it to be stiff. This is what the wand looks like up close. I love it. If you haven't tried it and you suffer from like no lashes, seriously, give it a go, okay? Now the next item that you guys are probably like sick of seeing on my channel by now is the BH Studio Pro Matte Finish Press Powder. You guys, I really like this powder. Matter of fact, I have it on today and I have been wearing it like in the last maybe two videos that you've seen prior to this. I've been having that on. If you look in my description box, you'll see I've been rocking this. And the color that I use is 250. And that's what it looks like up close. And also, you guys, I am going to be talking about the whole collection. So if you guys are trying to figure out what your color is, definitely subscribe so that you can get notifications when I load the video because I have the whole collection and I am going to do swatches. So it will give you a better gauge of which one to buy because when we go online and we see the like swatches online, that really doesn't help me too much. You know what I mean? It's like you're just buying it blind because that's not really the true color you see. So stay tuned for that. And lastly, I talked about this in another video too. It is Agave Healing Oil Revitalizing Shine Spray. This stuff it has not launched yet. Agave will be launching it very, very soon. So stay tuned, you guys, so I can let you know when they release it. And also follow me on Instagram because I probably will post something on there before I post something on YouTube. But this stuff is amazing. It smells like so good. Like I have the oil and that wasn't a favorite before too, but they smell exactly the same. I heard that they do the same thing, but the oil actually has a dropper in it. Whereas this is a spray and I'm just gonna show you like, cause I just love it that much. I'm gonna spray it on my hair. See how it adds that sheen? And that's what I use it for. And this is like genius, okay? Because I love the oil, but the oil has a dropper. So with this, all I have to do is spray it and then I'm good to go. And I do this like a few times a week just to refresh it. 
and I'm in love with it. I think that's it for my favorites, you guys. So I have some great videos coming up for you guys. I totally record on weekends, so I wish I had longer weekends like every single week so that I can make videos for you guys much quicker because I have like a list of videos that I wanna share with you guys, okay? So that is it for this video. Oh, 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 I forgot to tell you guys. I forgot to tell you guys. I also have a video coming up of this palette, talking about this palette and showing you all the swatches. It is the new Vegas Lights palette by Makeup Geek. It is her first ever eyeshadow palette, okay? And I have about four of the colors on my eyes now. And this is what it looks like up close and personal. So if you guys are interested in checking the palette out, I will put that in the description box. And also in the description box, I will have exactly what I put where, like what's on my crease, what's on my lid, and what I use as a brow bone highlight, okay? So all that will be in the description box. I always try to list what is on my face in the description box. But I will have a totally separate video on this palette along with the pigments to this collection. All right, all right. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up. And until the next video, you guys have an awesome, blessed day, and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye.